The Who's Got Next Sports Showcase, brought to you by Wingstop, Victory Sports Academy, and Get Recruited 365. Join hosts Marcus Beckwith and Jessica Berg as they discuss the latest recruiting news, interviews, and game recaps impacting the country. Who's Got Next Sports Showcase, Sundays, 9 a.m. on the CW Network. All right, welcome back to the Who's Got Next Sports Showcase, brought to you by Wingstop, Victory Sports Academy, and of course, Get Recruited 365. I'm here today with Neville, wide receiver and class of 2016 prospect, Mr. Chris Fuller. Chris, how you doing, man? I'm good. Good, good, good. Well, let's roll ahead. Go ahead and roll right into it. Uh, give us, give those coaches that may be watching your height, your weight, and your 40 time, strengths, anything else, your numbers that you know. Uh, 6'4", 205 pounds, uh, 40 times 45, got a 39, 40 inch vertical, uh, shuttle time is 401, and that's, that's, that's enough, man. That's, <laughs> that's enough, enough. man. All right, another important number, what's your GPA right now? Okay, absolutely, and I know you still got a lot of time, you know, left in school, got a whole other season uh, to kind of continue to improve on that, and I know you're looking forward to taking that ACT uh, coming up here February 7th, so we're going to make sure people stay tuned to get that ACT score to kind of see where you're coming in with that. Uh, you had the opportunity to participate uh, in this Neville uh, team that won a state championship. Talk to us a little bit about that experience. How was it playing there, down there in New Orleans against a tough Warren Eastern team? Uh, there's really no other feeling in the world like that. I mean, winning the state championship with the team that I've been with since my freshman year, it's just, I mean, it's unexplainable. Right? Yeah. And, and I mean, I know, I know that kind of leaves a, a, another huge taste in your mouth going into your senior season. You definitely want to have that that feeling that guys like Courtney Wallace and Donald Lewis and all those other senior guys had, kind of having that last game where you go out on top as a champion. Um, let's talk a little bit about the, the camp circuit for you. What all camps have you attended? Uh, what kind of awards have you won at those camps? And uh, talk to us a little bit about that. I uh, went to a few college camps like LSU, Alabama, Ole Miss, ULL, and that was about it. But I went to a national underclassman combine and won the combine king in my grade division. But I also went to a Nike mm -hmm. uh, combine and my score was like 103. Okay. So, you know, very impressive numbers right there. I mean, you kind of floored me when you were telling us all, all there about your, your vertical jump ability and, you know, a guy with a 6'4 frame kind of coming in here very fast, you know, so that's saying a lot. Big receiver, we get up, uh, get up the field very fast and jump, uh, jump. I, I know colleges are going to be kind of drooling on a young man with a skill set like that, but here at the Recruiter 365, we're kind of just focusing on who you are as an athlete, you know, what you're going to college for. So, speaking of that, talk to us a little bit about what you're interested in majoring in. Uh, I plan on majoring in business because okay. after college, I plan on, my dad owns a car lot, okay. and that'll help me get into the car business and he'll handle the car Right, 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 right. Learn more about the business and, and set yourself up to be, you know, uh, successful outside the game of football. And I know uh, you're in pursuit of college scholarships to help you pay uh, for the opportunity to be educated uh, at, at a great Division One program. Um, talk to us a little bit about some of the schools that are kind of interested in you right now. Uh, you may be receiving a little mail. Uh, they might be talking to you on Twitter. They may be calling a little bit saying, hey, we want you to come to our program. Give us a little bit of insight as to some of those schools are. Uh, LSU, I got a couple calls over the week. Going to the junior day, February. Uh, it feels like they're going to offer me, but I can't really promise anything. But they can't promise anything, right. I guess. Right. Uh, ULL has shown a lot of interest over the season, and also Nebraska and Utah and Northwestern. Okay, so some pretty predominant schools out there that are kind of early on and gaining the edge of recruiting a young man like yourself. Uh, you kind of mentioned LSU, one of our guys, Cam Lewis, uh, just picked up an offer from LSU, so we're kind of excited about that. And there's a lot of momentum going on right now about Brandon Martin for LSU. Uh, so the SEC is kind of heavy right now, so that's definitely going to be interesting to see how kind of your junior day goes. All right, well, let's kind of finish off this interview with this question. This is kind of our million-dollar question that we always ask athletes. What kind of young man is, is the college program getting in? What are some of the things that you're looking for in the college program? Uh, just playing at the next level, getting as far as I can go with a football in my hands. or just, It doesn't really get to football, it's about getting the education also. Right. Major in business. And, you know, I love football. 
I'm not about to go to play the next level, or maybe the next level. Right. So, you, I mean, like I said before, you know, you're kind of using it as a tool, as a resource to further yourself, you know, not just as a young athlete, but as a young man, already having a mindset of what you want to do with your business degree and the field and the industry that you want to kind of get involved. So that's interesting for coaches to know because with a young man like yourself, it's not just going to be exits and O's. It's going to be about the program, coming to that college, getting that visit and saying, look, this is the business program. This is what they have the offer. You know, here are some of our alumni, and here's what they've done. Uh, so that's going to be an interesting tidbit for those coaches to know in recruiting a young man like yourself. All right, Chris, I'll let you get out of here with this one. Give those coaches kind of your contact information, whether it's your Twitter, your email, your phone number, whatever you're comfortable with them having. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my Twitter handle is Chris Hill, Chris Hill Sports. Uh, my email. Christopher underscore 117 at yahoo.com. Phone number 318-503-3950. Okay. And we'll make sure we have that information up on the screen. And uh, I appreciate you for sitting down with us. And we look forward to continue putting that information out there. And good luck with the summer. Uh, I know you're probably going to be attending a lot of camps, so I know your recruiting will continue to eat.